everyone and happy Monday, happy planner day. Um, we have a really lovely picture today. Now I love this picture, I've coloured it a lot of times, had a lot of fun with it, done in done it in quite a few different ways, always very conventional colours, um, browns and greens and pink, reds, that sort of thing. Um, and we're going to have a go with it now. Um, I've got my um, Stedler um, Ergosofts um, to use on this page. Um, mainly because it is such um, a small sort of detailed page really. So I'm going to make a start. I'm going to start with the dark brown. This is number 76 and I'm just going to do, pick out a bunch of leaves, this particular bunch here. I'm just going to do this sort of stem and do them all in one particular way and then pick out a second bunch and do them in a slightly different way, etc. And sort of just work through each cluster of leaves. So I'm just doing all of the sort of stem, stalk, whatever you might call it, bits to start with. And then, see that's a different bit, so I'm sort of gonna not do that stem, although that stem goes to that one. It gets a little bit confusing. Right, so I'm going to leave that there with the stems and I'm going to just start at the bottom of each leaf with the darker brown and just fade it a bit like that. I haven't really thought this through or planned it in my usual manner of just going for it. So this acorn is going to be on top of a brown leaf which might not be the best way for it to show up but we'll worry about that when we get round to doing the acorns. And... Uh, just do the, these first. Now you don't have to use um, the Stedlers. If you don't have the Ergosofts, other Stedlers will work perfectly well in the same way. They've got the same colours. Um, or you can use any other brand of pencil really. Just your dark brown really. And uh, just join in. You might fancy not doing brown leaves of course. Or Oh, we'll do some greens as well. I'm not going to go unconventional and do anything like pinks or purples or anything. Just not in the mood for that today. This is number 73. So we're going to go over the top of that darker brown. And then extend the colour further up the leaf. If you don't have this exact shade, you could use the... Um, just trying to find the number, the 49 would work almost as well, I would say. Try not to go over the berry like I just did. Now I've chosen these because they sharpen to a nice fine point. Um, we've got, they're quite small these leaves really. And it's nice to have something that is sharper so you can stay in the lines better she says as she's gone out the lines i can't stay in the lines you know me so i'm just doing the best i can which is all we can do really isn't it it's monday i've got a lot going on today now my boys are home in the afternoon on a monday um so they um they come home to study and one of them wants to study in here, so I can't record on a Monday afternoon because the other one actually doesn't study. He does a, a live stream on YouTube. So if his brother is in the same room, it's very distracting. So he said, could he come and study in my room, which is fine. Obviously, his study takes priority over my video making. So he'll be in here. So I thought if I get some recording done now, then uh, I'll be able to do some editing this afternoon. When, uh, when he's in here studying, so that will work out well, but I've also got to pop out. I'm going to jump to a nice colour, 16, this is one of my favourite ergos, and again, all over the whole thing. And just take it right to the tip. I just love this warm gold colour. Yeah, I think they got they got mass this morning. They were a little bit apprehensive, not too bad, but they'd had a test. 
um, last week and they said everybody said it was really hard even the really 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 clever kids in the class so uh, they're sort of all they all think they failed <laughs> so I think there's something about if you all say it's hard it's slightly reassuring whereas if you're the only one that finds it hard that's a bit scary so uh, so they've got to go they're going in to get that result to this morning they think they think the teacher would have marked it over the weekend poor teachers but uh, we'll find out they also had some homework to hand in which fortunately they had got with them and easily found it not like last monday when i had a massive hunt for some missing homework i think it was last monday it might have been later in the week anyway didn't want that this morning on a Monday morning. Yeah, I've got to pop into town. We'd run out of cereal this morning. We did have alternative cereal, but oh, missed one. But not the one that was required. It was the alternative was eaten. They were both oats, but the alternative was the slightly finer oats. Right, next to here we have these. I'm just gonna sort of move around. These I'm going to do in a green. Um, now, what have we got? Um, let's do quite a contrast. Let's do the bluey green. This one is number 38. And start with that one. I'll do this. I had thought maybe I should do all the stems in the same colour. But this one sort of continues into the leaf. So I think I'd look a little bit odd. Oh, I've got hiccups, excuse me. It might look a little odd, so I'm trying to do the stem. It's quite messy. This pencil isn't very sharp. I chose these because they were easy to sharpen and didn't actually sharpen them. But anyway, I'm being lazy and uh, just carrying on. <laughs> so just take this colour slightly up. I'm going to use the same technique. I might not do it the same for every leaf. It's nice and relaxing to do the same thing. I don't have to think too hard. But uh, yeah, I've got to pop right into town. And uh, as I say, do a bit of shopping. And I've got to be back by sort of one. So I started recording quite early this morning. It's still a little bit too dark outside. It's a little bit dark. My husband hasn't left for work yet, but I uh, I just needed to get on this morning. Do that a little bit really lightly. It's always hard to know how to do these bits that are slightly turned over. I try and make them look a little bit different. Trying to make that dark in there so it looks like a bit of shadow. Oh, excuse me, sniffing. I haven't got a cold or anything. My eyes are watering a bit, it's making my nose run. Never mind, it's okay. Um, yeah, so it's quite cold. I'd rather sort of go out this afternoon in a way, but I sort of like to be here when the children are here because they're not here all the time, so it's nice even though um, one of them will be working, one of them will be streaming. It's still nice to have them here. I also have to buy some food for tea because my husband hasn't been driving because he's sore back. I've been having to shop on foot, so I've just been buying enough groceries to sort of keep us going on a day-to-day -day basis. So I need to think about what we're eating tonight and buy a few things um, to go with that got an idea but uh, I want some couscous I love couscous I know not everyone eats couscous it's just like a really really fine pasta and I get a lovely whole grain one as I always eat whole grain and um, it's so easy because you just I always measure out a portion because I'm rubbish at guessing how much to do so I just measure out 100 grams between the three of us um, throw some boiling water on it and then just put a lid on top usually just another bowl so I measure out in one of the bowls we're going to eat out of 
um, put some boiling water on it, put another bowl upside down on top and then just leave it. And that's, there's your carbs done. It's so easy. I'm finding this a bit awkward to colour. And uh, yeah, so, but they haven't had any, which is a bit annoying. I'm just going to finish them off with another colour. I'm wondering what to use. I think this pale green is probably going to be the best. The um, number 50. Oh, I know I sort of finished these small leaves already. But I'll put a little bit over. So yeah, I want to get some of that if I can. And um, if, I, um, if I'm if i not mixing it in with a flavourful dish, I'll um, hydrate it with stock instead of water. But I cheat. I basically do exactly the same, put the water on, but I just crumble a stock cube into it, give it a quick stir. So quick and easy. I like easy cooking sometimes. But usually there's nothing I cook that normally takes longer than half an hour to uh, for me in the kitchen. Often quicker. I often just prepare veg really quickly and throw them in the oven. Um, like chop a pepper in half, cut out the the um, seeds and throw it, throw it in the oven with a whole mushroom, and it's so easy. But uh, I don't put the oven on all the time. It, if it's on anyway, then I'll fill it up with all sorts of veg so that it, the heat isn't wasted. But I often stir fry as well. It's a nice way to do veg. My one son prefers boiled veg, just plain boiled veg. So we do that sometimes. There we go, there's another set of leaves done. And I'm thinking I'd like this set green as well but a different green to this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to start with the number five and do the stems, although that one's already been done in the wrong colour. I'm just going to sort of go over it a bit. I'm not going to worry too much. Do the base. Up. I think it's supposed to be getting a little bit warmer after today as well. I've been going out, and it's been snow on the ground. Um, I've got, I'm really confused because these stems just lead to the berries. This sets on its own set of stem, but those two go with that. Anyway, we'll just colour it. Um, yeah, I've been wearing my wellies because I didn't want to slip in the snow. My wellies are nice and grippy. But today, the snow almost all melted yesterday. So, uh, I think I'll be alright in my smaller boots. Although my smaller boots let all the stones in. If I walk along the canal path, my shoes get full of gravel. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> A little bit annoying. But hey... It's not too bad. I end up, might not walk along the canal path anyway. I might just walk along the road. But it's not so nice because you've got all the cars and the pollution and, you know. The canal path there, there's lots of dogs, which isn't my thing. Usually they're fine. A lot of time people have them on leads anyway. I'm just going to get my hanky out, sorry. Excuse me. Right. Let's get to the top of these leaves. Let's use the number 57. So I'm going to go all over all of it in this. Because um, the green probably isn't quite the obvious match to this one. But once they're together once I put a bit on top it just sort of works I think and I just do them all the same the joy about going along the canal path is of course the birds 
yesterday. What did I see yesterday? I only saw a moorhen yesterday. Oh, and what? I think it was a strange bird. I spoke to my son. He says it's got a. It has to be a wagtail, mum. And it was had a really long tail. But it looked as long as a long tailed tit. But it had a yellow belly, which of course the wagtails have. So I'm not sure what it was. It was very, very sweet. Hopping around, flying about, flapping. Really lovely. So that was nice. But in the winter you don't see as much. I am um, someone I know sees the otter all the time in the water. But um, I'm not sure exactly where she sees him. I've seen him once. Him, he, she. But um, I don't know whereabouts. If I um, if I go a bit in the opposite direction to town, which I tend to walk with my friend if we go that way, but usually I walk into a town if I'm on my own. Um, if you go down that way, there's a um, cormorant sometimes is fun to watch a baby one they go under the water for so long um, and just disappear and then come out meters away you have to try and such fun try and guess see if you can see a little ripple or a little bubble and guess where it's going to come out it's so cute right there's our next set of leaves okay. oh I've missed one <laughs> too busy talking now, how are we doing for time? I'm trying to work out how many videos this is going to be. Um, based on we've done, we haven't done half yet, 16. Or we probably might get it done in two. Should we do this set? I'm going to go for my really dark brown. This is the 77. I, as before, I'm going to start with this stalky bit. I'm not going to do these little berry bits yet. I'm merely doing leaves today. And we'll do um, we'll do berries and owls and things, acorns and that sort of thing in another video. Now you could if you wanted to do this picture in all sorts of fantastical colours, you have to stick with these. I always think it looks autumnal, which is why I always do a lot of browns because I'm taking my brown all the way up on this one, a little bit different, um, because of the berries and the acorns and things. So I'm not sure why it's been put in January, but it doesn't matter. And. Uh, you know, you don't have to colour it in the browns, but there are brown leaves around still this time of year, well at least around here anyway. The um, beech, for example, which are more like this sort of colour, they're, um, they stay on, on until the new growth comes um, onto the bush and or tree, and then they fall down. But beech trees are just gorgeous, so pretty. Um, there is a uh, avenue of beech trees I suppose you would call it um, on a road on the way from here to my parents and it's just gorgeous in all sorts of seasons so in the autumn they change this gorgeous sort of this sort of colour absolutely lovely and then in the spring the new beech growth is such a gorgeous spring green colour and the leaves on the ground that have all fallen off stay this colour so in this particular area there are lots of leaves from years and years on the ground so you can always see that lovely colour and if it's frosty then they look really pretty with a sort of white edge and then if it's rained the trunks look really dark and lovely and then if it's rained and it's sunny then the leaves look shiny and wet oh it's just such a such lovely trees. I'll be going to my parents next weekend, which actually will be, I would have been by the time this video comes out, because uh, my dad's birthday on the 1st of Feb. So we're going to visit the weekend before his birthday because 
the weekend after, which is what he'd originally proposed, is the weekend before my boys have their mocks and they wanted to be at home. And uh, so my dad was happy to fit in really. So I'm gonna use number 49 for this one. He uh, didn't really mind which weekend because his birthday's on a Wednesday. So it's sort of in the middle of the week. So uh, actually my mum always prefers to celebrate before the day. She always says, oh, if it's left till after, it doesn't feel the same. For me, I disagree, but for her, that's her feeling. So well, when it's her birthday, we always have to do it before. But uh, yeah, it'll be nice. And my sister's driving up as well. So her and her husband and her four kids and us four will be quite a houseful for my mum. But my dad suggested we have jacket potatoes because he says it's nice and easy to cook. Him not being a cook, but actually, really it is. You just pop them in the oven, don't you? Put it on and you're done. But, of course, what he hasn't thought about is all the fillings that have to be made or heated. I think my sister said she might make some homemade baked beans. Uh, but my mum's usually got a tin. And... There'll be cheese to and butter, I expect. But anyway, I'm sure we'll get it all sorted. And uh, so it should be nice for us all to get together. I have to see if um if I want to take any games. Could be quite fun. Um, my cousin, second cousin, I guess, my cousin's son. Um, gave us as a family um, Catan for Christmas and I've actually got it at my house at the moment because um, we were playing it here at Christmas so um, I might take that up so we can play that and there's another game as well which he sent the year before which is a lot of fun as well I can't remember what that one's called but uh, anyway we've been having fun with those they're a bit, um, a bit more grown up and the children are getting older now so it's nice to play a slightly more grown-up game I suppose. Now I've got this little group of leaves here. I've used a lot of greens and things already. I'm thinking about colours for these. Um, I think I might go, I'll start with my pale. This is my favourite green. <laughs> it's so small. Number 56 and that's where I'm going to start I think. I haven't started with a pale one yet. I've been doing it the other way so this will be a little bit different. So all the stem and those little sort of rounded bits, I'm not sure they are. Do all those with this. Mm. Then we do the bottom of the leaf, slightly fade it. Oh, we haven't done these stems. Yeah, my husband's got a set of, a, of um, 36 ergos and he's very kindly donated me his 56 because it's my favourite one. So I have got um, a new one in my other set. I've got two sets of these actually. One set, um, I won a set in a competition, so that was good. And um, bought a set. And I got another set from somewhere. I can't remember. Maybe it's husband's set. I don't know. Anyway. But, um, yeah, they're not making them. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll have to move on to uh, the design journey ones. Which apparently, I've got the soft touch. They're okay. But... The ones that aren't soft touch apparently are really nice, so I'm looking forward to trying them out at some point. But as I said, I wear these down first. Now I'm going to use a yellow on this one just for a bit different. Um, I don't want to go too dark a yellow. I'm going to use number one. I'm actually going to start at the tip and then just sort of blend it into the green. So this is going to be quite a sort of light leaf. This is going to be it's quite vibrant, isn't it, on the ends? But it looks very different, which is good. 
because we I like the idea of making them all a little bit different to each other that's because they're all drawn differently so I think each little each little cluster I mean not each individual leaf you could make each individual leaf different but uh, that's a lot of work I like to uh, keep it a bit simpler Now, I'm sort of checking the time. I don't want to make the video too long because um, we know we're going to be doing another one. Let's do another bunch. That was really quick. Um, this central one I think I'll do next because it might sort of determine what we're doing here. Got a lot of brown stems meeting in the middle here, so I think we'll go back to a green. And we've used all the greens, so but that's okay. Oh, my hands are cold. Um, I think I'm going to go for, um, hmm, let's have a think, yeah let's go for the five to start with, I think we've used that as a base already but it doesn't matter, and then I'm going to fade it quite quickly this time though, like that, this is quite light, and we'll get some more colours in there. I can hear my husband just going out to de-ice the car. It's going to be quite a job because he hasn't been out in it. Oh, he went out in it on Saturday actually. That's right. So it might be okay. I feel like maybe this should be dark brown because it leads to that. multitasking this morning. I'm exporting a video at the same time as making a new one. Luckily it doesn't matter because uh, um, I've already uploaded it onto my computer so I don't need my camera to do the um, export. But, um, it's, uh, it's the series that goes out before this video. Right, where should we go next? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go 50. Sorry, that was short. I can actually see. I think so. So I'm putting this down quite hard. But I'm going to start to fade it in a minute we're going to have a different colour on the tip. Just fade it down. I'm going to do this one, mix this up a bit. I'm going to have a brownish colour on the tip. So it's a bit different. aren't I today? I'm trying to think what to tell you about what's been going on. Nothing very exciting. It's been a nice weekend. Went out a few times, had to do bits of shopping. That was all really. I always watch a bit of telly on the weekend if there's something on that I like. Um, I'm going to use the number 16 for the tips of these. But lightly blend it in like that, just roughly. So maybe a bit dark on the actual tip, I think that will work better. Um, yeah, so I like, um, I like light entertainment, I suppose you would call it. So shows that are fun. And uh, so on Saturday I was watching the um, Mars Singer. I just think it's fun. I like looking at the clues and trying to get, I've never got one right. <laughs> <laughs> never ever ever even the one that was Morton Harkett from AHA a band that I used to be obsessed by as a youngster still didn't get it right 
I'm looking at what we've got left and how long the video's been and I'm thinking I'm going to leave it there for today and come back tomorrow and finish it because I think we can do the rest in about half an hour because we've done one, two, three, four, five, six leaf sets. We've got four left and then we've got the owls and the berries so I think we can probably finish it in another one video but I think I will finish now and uh, and then come back afresh and uh, and do the other leaf sets and uh, and the berries and things can't wait to do the berries but i've got to be patient to do the leaves first i might sharpen some of my pencils as well before i do the next video because quite blunt anyway <laughs> thank you for watching have a lovely day and hopefully you'll tune in tomorrow for the next part happy coloring <laughs>